What the hell happened to my car? Oh my god, here we go again. Here we go again. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't even know why I'm getting shot. I don't even know why I'm getting shot. I just parked my car. And all this is happening. Like, seriously. I hate when the game glitches out so much that... Oh my god, and there goes my car, my Avenger! A client wishes to free another man of his earthly possessions. More specifically, need you to swipe Kerry or Dine's guitar. Kerry? Like my friend Kerry? More until it touched. I'll be waiting. Oh, come on, that's my. Oh my god. <laughs> There was this band in the 20s, Samurai, maybe you've heard of them. Talentless, bunch of angsty, skeezed out kids who thought they were actually making music. For some reason, people nowadays still listen to them. One more reason why this world's going to shit and the end times are near. I'll cut to the chase. My client wants to get his hands on Kiri Uridine's guitar, one of the members of Samurai. Weird gig, I know, but the Amy's are legit, and that's all that matters. I tracked down the guitar. It's owned by one Gaston Slayton. Guy is obsessed with Samurai and is a collector of the band's mem memorabilia. Getting into the building shouldn't be a problem. You'll have access to the elevator. Only thing is, Slayton's unit will probably be tightly secured. Yordine's guitar is his prized possession. Drop me a line when it's done. Yeah, there was my car. I parked right there, and the game wants to load everything afterwards. Like, a hot minute afterwards. That is so annoying. How are you gonna say you did so many updates when you can't even load all of the stuff properly? Stupid. This is why this game's on sale for, like, 20 bucks. Thank goodness I don't have to steal the guitar directly from Carrie because I feel like that would be really disrespectful to do like dirty jobs against my friends. So at least I'm not too worried about that. But the fact that I'm stealing a guitar from someone else that just happens to be a Eurodyne guitar is so crazy. Shit. And I don't even have tech ability like that. Hold on, how am I supposed to... I don't have good tech ability. So what would be another option for me? You know what? How about this? I'm gonna go to the second floor. Maybe there is something for me. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm up on the roof. This sucks because if I'm not able to complete this mission properly, why did I just slide? Ooh, wait. I think I'm onto something here. Because usually when you don't have a certain ability, there's always a plan B to do things. Um... Do I really want to go through here? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! Oh my god, that's mad floors down. I am so queasy. Okay. Let's, let's get back. Ooh! Oh lord, okay. I am never doing that ever again. I'm just walking through everywhere at this point. Like, this is so funny to me. Huh. I wonder. 
Maybe I could get down here. See if this would help. Holy shit, I did it! I did it! I found another way in! Oh! -ho -ho! Slick as fuck! Like, to think I would need some technical ability to open up the door. Wow, this is his apartment! Okay. First of all, I'm gonna check on every single camera that could possibly be here. And so far, nothing. Well, well, well. Piss pork. Of course, the chicks made up for that. Best pussy I ever ate. I don't want to know, Johnny, but thank you for sharing, I guess. Like, I don't know. Okay. Let me see what else. Is that it? Can't have bad luck all the time. Save you some time. It's none of these. How do you know? Cause say what you will about Carrie, but he knew guitars. And these are all hot trash. Okay, so it's definitely not this. Let me just turn off here. No? No turn off. Um, where would it be? That's an access point. That well, is. Of course. Well, well, I have to appreciate the man's taste in both music and liquor. But what I don't get, I mean, why the fixation on Carrie? Maybe he has a fat-ass crush on him, who knows, like, you'll be surprised. I feel like Carrie is the type of man that can pull off guys and girls without even doing anything. Hmm. Huh, I'll never forget this. Line was longer than from here to Plymouth Rock. After party lasted two nights straight. And ended in the drunk tank? Damn, two nights straight. I won't be able to keep up. I would have been KO'd. Hey, look here. Dude made a shrine to the band. Well, half shrine, half vault, more like. Has a numeric keypad. So codes a string of digits. Man, I don't know. Maybe 69, 69, 69? Or maybe not. I mean, honestly, let me see. I'm gonna try this. If it's 69, 69, 69, I'm gonna be laughing my ass off. No. I tried. That was in here. Johnny's pants? I'm gonna take it. And I got some money. I'm gonna take all this money. Why not? No. Oh, interesting. Fuck, Carrie's an old geezer now. When was this still taken? Not long ago. Look, the date. The date, the date. That's it. The fucking code to the safe room. Hooey, see that? Still got it. The date? 2065. Okay. I'll try that one. So it would be. Oh, sorry. Uh, 2065. Oh shit, we're in. We are fucking in. Alright, I guess I'll take it. Boy, this guy's gonna be pissed once he realizes that the guitar is no longer here. Nice bathroom. This would be plenty enough room for me to have fun, honestly. Makeup. 
he's not alone, I can tell. Alright, well, let me go. I got skedaddle. Thank you for having me. It's time for me to leave because I'm not trying to get caught here. Alright, this is nice. An easy mission. I'm actually pretty surprised. Yo, I am so slick. The fact that I went up through the roof, jumped through the porch. Because the thing is, if you're not able to get in one way, there's always another option. Even if that option is not right in your face. All right, I'm outie. And now I just gotta deposit the guitar in the drop point. Which, I'm gonna take this one. Because this car is trash, thanks to... Um... Cyberpunk. My, my, Miss American Pie. Oh, my cherry jewelry. Oh, shit. Don't judge me on my driving, okay? Just don't, don't judge me on my driving. All right, I wonder how much money I'm gonna get just by stealing this guitar. Because if it's really priceless like that, then I'm expecting mad cash. Oh shit. All right. Hey, hello, move out the way. Let's sell. We'll deposit. I can truly count on you, V. The guitar is in the right hands. Securely now. Closing this contract and transferring your compensation. I got 5,700. For stealing a guitar. Man, that's mad corny. Okay, so I got another job not too far from the last one I just finished. So. You, have a gig. you need to retrieve a car. At the moment, a 6 3 car. See the attachment for more on the wheels. And its owner. Why do you pause a lot, Father? Like, just get to the point, please. Why is it some unwritten law of the world that every talented techie has shit poor character? Only God knows. Jake Estreves is one such genius among techies and an asshole among shitheads. Fifteen minutes with the man in my barrel against his forehead. But good news is, we found a way to get along. Jake's been a grease monkey for the 6th Street about two weeks now. Of course, I'm not in good terms with 6th Street Gang, but I do grudgingly admire their patience. It is, after all, virtue. Over that time, Jake's been doing a custom job on a car for them. His life's work, he says. Design the soft for it, too. Remember I said he has shit poor character? Yeah, well, he pissed off the wrong bendejos and 6th Street Gang and had to delta and never looked back. Bottom line, Jake wants his precious car back. Go to the 6th Street Gang Auto Shop, upload the virus I sent you, and get it back for him. Don't scratch the ride and you'll get extra. We'll both be flush after this. Oh, come on. I gotta make sure I don't scratch the car. Oh, Lord. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm actually going to do. There's mad people here, right? But I feel like I can distract this specific guy here, so... What in the hell is going on? I don't know what is going on. Oh! Nope, you did not see anything! You leave me alone. No, you didn't see anything, leave me alone. Yo, I just love how when you go into a certain area, automatically it's labeled as hostile. 
All right, so where is this car? Oh, it's right over there, okay. I'll take that, because I love stealing in the game. I love stealing in the game, not in real life. Okay, so... Can I jump? Can I not jump? I feel like someone's looking at me. I don't see anyone here, which is good, so I'm gonna jump. Can I jump? Oh my fucking god. No, you did not see anything, holy shit. I'm really trying hard to be sneaky, but at the same time, it's pretty annoying. Like, so annoying. Okay. Come on! Bro. Alright, so where's this car? Ooh, okay. This is so extremely, um, scary. I'm trying to figure out- oh shit, he's moving, he's moving, fuck. No, you didn't see shit! Damn, he's standing right there too. Like, I don't know what to do. Is there any way I can, like, distract him, or... Nope, you didn't see shit. I'm trying... Yeah, okay, good. He didn't see anything. Distract, right here. The fucking earwear, again? Yeah, it's the earwear again. Oh no, horrible. Yay, I can move freely. Huh? No, you didn't see anything. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. No, you didn't see anything. Shut up. Grab. And then I'm gonna do a non-lethal takedown, because I'm not trying to kill anyone. I know you're working really hard, sir. I know you're trying to make money for your wife and kids. I'm not gonna kill you. Come on. Why would I do that? I'm taking all of this, though. Alright, so... Install software. And then, after that, we're gonna go, go get the car. Oh, yeah. Alright, now it's time for me to get the car, so... He's asleep. First of all, where is this car anyways? Huh, okay. This is some really intense shit right there, like... Nope, sorry, you did not see anything, leave me alone. Thank you. Grab non-lethal takedown. Cause I'm not killing anyone, sorry. I did not get paid to kill. I get paid to steal. Is this the car? Let's uh let's open. Yeah, let's open. Let's get in the car. Sorry. Oh! Oh! Oh, the car! Oh my god. That was nice though. I know you, I know you admire my sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneak skills. I know I do. That shit was so intense. I just, I don't know. Let me talk off the radio because I'm not trying to get a uh, copy claimed because I use someone else's music. Like, Cause you know, with YouTube, you're not really allowed to use music at all. All right, no, no, woo! Stop! Holy shit! Yo, I'm not trying to crash at all. I'm not. Okay, okay. Yo, come on, 
Come on. Whew. Oh my god. This is really intense. Okay. I'm here? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck me! I slammed it against the fucking table! <laughs> hey, yo, I can't. I can't. Alright. You All really right. saved my ass. I can't thank you enough. Anytime. What about the ride? You gonna fence it? Well, I have to sooner or later. Know a guy in Sacramento, a collector? He'll set me up for life. Oh, but for now, I'm taking her with me. Spruce her up a little more. Wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. Sixth Street are gonna be searching high and low for this beauty. I'm leaving town today. Nice. It's like Uncle Estevez always said. If you gotta choose between your ride and saving someone else's ass, always choose the ride. Um, At least you know that a ride's never gonna betray you. People, on the other hand... Yeah, but rides die, though. Um, I mean, never mind. Do you. Do you with that uh, piece of advice. I don't know. Can't really relate. Excellent. The car has reached its owner. Now the money will reach you. Good deeds are always repaid in kind. Closing the contract. Until next time. I got five thousand for that. This is bullshit. What happened to the twenty thousand jobs I get? The bullshit. El Coyote Colcho. Is that what I'm reading right now? Colcho. The fuck is this? Huh, okay. Hey, you. Sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, this... This isn't a bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. B. Hey, go uh -huh. these assholes out to behave Enjoy in my here. bar. Oh, shit. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in hey, your wait. ribs. Know this fuck. For fire with our boys. You know, back when Gustavo took that hit. Well, just got real fucking interesting. Oh shit, okay. I guess I'll go and beat ass. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh shit. Why am I on fire? Come here! Come here, bitch! I need to be alone, okay? The audacity! What... what just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why... why'd you help me? You would have caught a beating. Worse. This fucking town, these people? Just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh... Bartender got the rest. Aw, oh, he only gave me two grand. That's cute. Alone, okay? That's not bad. I beat uh, both their asses. Bro, you have some nerve to try and fight me. Jackie's best friend. At the club. Fuck out of here. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Oh shit. I don't I wouldn't mind Who'd having a few no drinks. To a free drink. Cheers. The good fortune and prosperity. Long day. Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working Fuck. overtime to make an extra buck. Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know. Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. I am so Anyhow, sorry, Pepe. Since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. Yuck. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. 
Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Yeah, she's cheating. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things. But with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. Anytime, Pepe. And you know what? Let me take a moment to just say, Jackie, I miss you. I always have, always will be, bro. Oh, Lord. It seems like yesterday we were just having the funeral, bro. I don't know. I just... It's fucking sad. Anyways, let's go. Let me go to... Bar's betrayal of beguiling woman. Yeah. Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints. But now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done? I'm trying to focus. Look at Johnny being a poet here. Look at you, big boy. All right, so the wifey could be on a smoke break for sure. So she's definitely not expecting us at all. Oh, Lord, if only I could slide my way into secrecy because I'm not trying to make it known that I'm here. Okay. I arrived on the scene looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. Scan and identify Peppa's wife. Is that Peppa's wife? Nah. Damn, she she looked like she could beat my ass. Are you Peppa's wife? Are you Peppa's wife? Okay. Colorful, right? So you must be Peppa's wife. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Yeah, Peppa's right. Got she is close. colorful. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. That's why I stopped for a little bit, you know? I can't believe her name's Cynthia. That is so funny. And Got she's a too cheater. Close. Again. Something just drew me to her. Like one magnet to another. Oh, stop. Okay, so I have to be dumb far away before she realizes that someone's following her, so... This should be good. Why are there people like- you know what, I'm minding my business. That's mad work. I wonder who she's actually cheating on with. The woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up, I'm gonna fucking puke. Narrate that. Johnny is just enjoying this, I can tell. You know, if you weren't a rock star, you would have been a good author. I would have read your books. Now I got someone following me. What the fuck? 
I'm following her. I'm being followed by some junkie. I don't know. The woman passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, what did I ever do to you? All right, let me make sure I don't get too close. Damn, she is really walking away from work, like... Crossing the street. Let me let these cars through before I get run over. Where is she going? Damn, like... The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Damn, V, you really gotta say that, though? This must be some whorehouse or something. Where's she at? Hey, careful! You tear my shirt! Well, well, well. Oh my god. What? Hey, you! What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you. All right, before y'all do anything crazy. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper, a specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist in this dump? Look, I know I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But... Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again... It, You're pregnant? Oh, it, it, it wasn't... it wasn't planned. Please, uh, tell him... tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. And there's blood on the table. Were you getting a... You know what, I'm leaving. It's sad how she felt the need to change her looks, but... It's even more sadder that she can't even open up to her husband. Alright, let me call Pepe. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So. My son. That's why he. Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? 
Her own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever, it's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, no, muffling shit, its good. cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.